Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you a okay? In your neck of the woods, so what up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl Debbie from Donga Yard? Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. Tons and tons of you when you ride on over here. Special welcome to you. Thank you so very much. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning and you're still here, manners and respect. Now, you know you haven't been seeing me in a long time posting, but I know a lot of you who are in tune with me and are also subscribed to my second channel, The Jamaican Debbie Deb Strain. You know what is happening that from the 3rd of September, I have not had running water and I still have the running water. It has affected my uploading so much and all this whole YouTube thing and everything. But I am all in on. As an old soldier, I know for stay pump patrol. Listen me. Now today what we are going to be preparing for you, I'm going to be preparing for you today a butterfish stewed in coconut sauce. Stewed butterfish in coconut sauce. So let me get right ahead and introduce you to what I'll be using. So, we have got here some freshly squeezed coconut milk right there. Mind you, some people might want to say this is steaming, but I don't consider this process as steaming, but to each our her is our her own. We have got here our butterfish. This is a really colorful butterfish. And if you're a fish eater and know a lot about butterfish, you know that it's one of the most beautiful fish. It has this nice buttery, nice flavor. We'll be using some okras, we'll be using some carrots. I've got my skeleton and thyme pimento seeds. I've got a few slices of red bell pepper, some green ones, um, purple or red onions, garlic, and ginger root. I'll be grating some in there. I've salt, I've got black pepper, and I also got parsley. I'm also gonna be using some butter. I'll be using it's basil. Oh, basil, I'm sorry, y'all. I am so sorry. I saw me like you correct me on the camera. Because the two we are here, it's a real thing. Pick up yourself. Yeah. So it's basil. We have also here some fish tea flavored soup mix. And we are going to use it like that. So we are going to get rolling. We are going to get our flame going on. Start it almost on the high. Because we want this thing to come to a boil. And the very first thing I'm going to be putting in there, I'm going to be putting my scallions and my thyme. Okay. So I have it like right here going on. The next thing I'm going to be putting in right here is this fish tea. It is not a full pack. So I think I can maybe put that. Okay. That is what we are going to be using in here for the very first. This soup makes it has some salt in there. So at this point, I'm going to really want to put in a salt right now. Okay. Also, I'm going to be putting in my pimento seeds. I'm flavoring up my coconut milk. Now... That is happening, we are going to be covering our pot and we are going to be turning our attention to this here, our butter fish. Now, it has been cleaned and all of that. If you look at it, you can see this is a thick, nice fish. The wings, the, the, the fins, the tail, it is also tailored already. So we don't need to take this in a scatter all over the place and go and um, trim it up. It is properly tailored already and that is the beauty of this fish so right here it's not a big too much of a big fish it's such a medium size i'm going to be giving it like one core to each side and don't go too deep and one if it was bigger then you would do other ones it is thick it has this nice thick flesh look at it here what a beauty so I'm going to be going now and going to be getting my hands all rinsed because I got my two hands messed up. And I'll come back to show you what I'll be using to season my butterfish. I'm not going to go too much seasoning. I'm just going to go with herbs. And for those of you who like your powdered seasoning, do you do what you want to do. This is my fish. I'm sharing with you. This is my kitchen. I'm sharing with you as I always did. So I am doing me. If you like what I do, I'll leave for you in the description. And then you can do as I do and try it. May soon come. We are back. And we have not started seasoning our fish. But we're doing onto, we're onto something else. Now you notice the coconut milk is coming to a boil. 
in this here i will put in some butter put your butter of choice if you want to put some healthy butter you put some healthy butter if you want to put some vegan butter put what you want do what you want to do okay everybody knows say steam fish must have this buttery taste this fish is also a butter fish so i'm just going to be putting in this piece of butter and i'm also at this point going to get my flame down because i want it to melt and go right through so i'll go now and start seasoning my next my fish so when i'm ready you will see that that butter and that coconut milk as as um or has or have been incorporated properly so onto my fish right now i'm using here some basil a little salt and some black pepper that's what i'll be using to season my fish it is so hard but i'm trying i haven't got any water in my pipe so i'm going to be putting inside here a little basil i'm going to be putting on a little on both sides i like the taste of basil it has a beautiful flavor you don't want to use basil do what you want to do do you i'm putting in a little black pepper I'm also going to be putting in a little, let it go right inside these little parts here. Although it will be the juice of the coconut milk and stuff will go right in there. Also, a little salt. Mm? So, this is how I'm doing it. Put a little salt right here. Because remember, we don't know how much our mixture, the salt in this of our mixture. So, I'm done. Isn't it, this is book here. Hello, please. This is not no beef and pork and chicken where we are seasoning and marinating for 50, 60, 1,000, 10,000, 365 days or 4 years to, 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 to marinate. This is just a fish and fish is very delicate. Okay? So we'll be gently remember to be careful whilst you execute this, this method or whilst you're doing this method. Because remember say this name fish and it has in some bones. Be careful. Right? Be careful gonna go now get my hands rinsed off i don't have water in my pipe which is what makes it so uncomfortable and so hard i'll just flip my pipe and put my soap and wash my hands so in the next clip i'll have my fish ready to put inside my pot soon come okay right on over here i turned on my flame but nevertheless we got this butter mixture butter and coconut milk mixture going on so what I'm going to be doing now, I'm just going to be coming right here and I'm going to be putting my lovely butter fish inside this mixture. Look at me here. So my flame is up. So I want to get my, my, my fish down to the bottom of the pot. We'll get it as we go along. Right in here, I'm going to be putting in my carrots right now. Okay. And also, I'll be putting in these okras. Because them could have stayed a little later, but they all on me. I don't know why they're so deceiving. So for now, that's what I'm okay. And then also, I've got some garlic right here. Let me grate my garlic right here and right now with my flame up. Great enough. Two pegs. Do as much as you want to do. See you in the next clip. A little ginger, of course, not a lot. Just to this coconut milk. Uh -uh, like that. So we don't want no holy. Hmm? Of course, right here, you want to put a little extra black pepper, not too much. But you know, say black pepper, it's on a nourishment. And all like that. So you're going to start now, get your flame hot, almost to high, and you're going to be start basting this fish. If you feel like you want to turn, you would like to turn, you turn at this point. Don't wait until it cooks too much so at this point. You can probably turn this is the right time if you want to turn showing you you don't have to turn but if you do want to turn this is the time to turn okay don't wait until it's halfway cook or three quarters cook when you try to turn then it will go all mashed up we are going to leave this you see all of them nice this camera girl you're shooting them up you're there so we're going to leave this to come to probably like half or three quarter way cooked we're going to get our flame down it's too high and then we're going to come back to taste for salt um flavoring and also pepper but we're not ready for put in the pepper yet eh? we know what the pepper go on too much from now so look at me here you're gonna come along a few times and you're gonna take up this coconut milk and you're gonna baste this fish 
paste it just base it right around it is a beautiful fish don't try to agni chai it up it's so lovely okay we're going to be covering our pot and we're going to be leaving it when we return you'll see what will be happening next must come okay now family so we are back and we are going right over here and this is what is happening right here you notice the sauce is being reduced and I want to say something as I said before I think some people might want to say this is steam fish but for me it's not this is not our steaming method of course you see so if you notice we say coconut sauce so we want this to remain with this clear color you know? we're not putting in any you remember I have this other stew stew fish video if you have not seen it as yet I'm going to leave the link for you in the description and also my original steam fish video Jamaican style that you can go and check it out. Let us stay right here and come back. I could probably take a little salt, not a lot, because I don't know what salt. And you know, most of do it neither, but this is so beautiful. So now is the time that we have gone halfway in the cooking i'm going to be putting a half of scotch bonnet pepper i'm putting it also with the stems up with the stem i've washed my pepper so you want to let it go right there so as you go along you scum up remember the bottom is being cooked and you spoon it this fish is a fish with all gum with all gel so you're gonna get your scotch bonnet pepper now going right over over there for a little time then you move it and come over here for a little time again you're gonna just have it been distributed all over I've gotten the flavor that I'm looking for let me taste one more time you don't want too much of a harsh flavor in this the coconut milk has given it a nice mild flavor you don't want too much harshness in this so look at me here I'm gonna leave it like that and then probably another 10 minutes I'll come and I'll show you how I'll be putting in these condiments right inside there. And probably you might want to put a little more grated garlic. No problem. That's for me. So if you don't want to, you do. One more shot. And this is how each time you come and open it, you come and you baste it. Whilst the liquid is being evaporated, it is also cooking right through because we're going to be covering our pot right here, right now. So I was saying that you want this fish to stay on the white clean pretty path you don't want to put any sauces in it to turn the color lighter down darker or put ketchup no ketchup nothing like that i'm gonna the ketchup the ketchup bullies them love it see you in the next clip okay now we're almost there look at me here let us look at the sauce and you want this to finish with some sauce where you can drink up if you at this point like your crackers you could add your crackers right now if you're I'm not be, I will not be serving this with crackers so if at this point you like your crackers all stew down this is the perfect time to put your crackers in look at this night nice white coconut sauce and look at the fish right there and the carrots they are coming to come the okras are there too and I like that at this point now we want to remove all this scallion and thyme because it done. When the scallion and the thyme, the scallions especially come to this point, where it looks so limp, you want to remove it. If you want to heat it, you can also remove it and then go eat it. But to serve it with the scallions and thyme like this, it's not really not looking so appealing. So you want to remove them at this point. Okay? Remember, we turn already. Look at it. You see how succulent? You see, look at me. Look at me here. You see how succulent, you see how juicy, so you don't want to turn again at this point. Or else, you're going to have a mash up fish. You're going to have a pot of pot of fish. Aye, you can't serve them something here to people. Now look at me, look at this sauce. Look at this white coconut sauce. Look at me here. This is just tonic. This is just tonic. So as I said before, you want to put in your crackers, you can put them now. Look at me here. So right on here now. You want to put in your onions like this put them or you want to put them if you want to put more you put more this is the time because I don't want my onions cooking on the limb so limpy limpy and you can put your bell peppers and I like that also I'll be just topping it off with a little extra fresh grated garlic not a lot because we have a good little amount in there but that's just for me I like the taste of garlic so look at me here now we're going to be putting this down in there. We are going to be lowering our flame to almost low. And when you see me in the next clip, it will be finished. And I'll play it for you. My soon come. We are back. And this is what is happening right here, right now. Camera girl, shoot them up.
You like the look, camera girl? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, this is how it looks. Let me show you. Because this more look like a look around down thing I go on right here. So you know, look at me here now. This is such a beauty. This eye butter, you look good. Me like how you look. Now at this point, this is always a challenge to remove the fish from the pot without getting it broken. So normally, it's always best to use a spatula, a old time, long time spatula. Not them little plastic flimsy flimsy something. That is why I am from the old school and I will remain there. Let's go do this on camera. Beautiful. What a beauty. Right here, or right now, this is the beauty of the finished butterfish. Yeah, this is the beauty of the finished fish, but me not finish. Look at me here now. So you have got your bell peppers. You want to use them as garnish. Mm? Take them up. Use them as garnish. Where is your onion? You got your onions right here. See them right there. Now, this is some, this is some, some juice. This is what I, I know so the man them, I know so the man them love this, you know. I know so the men them love this. Yep. Let us do this on camera, camera girl. What you say about that? Let's do this on camera. Sometimes they never get to see these things and we want to show them. But a long time them not see. What you say, camera girl? I turn now for comment them see. Not true. How me look? You look good. Yeah. Talk loud. Wow. Ah, uh -uh, them are nice, Miss yeah. And look here. You must make it come that you got all I. Please. Oh, no, not leaving out this. You need this. Right? And these are just juices. Now. You want to have all of them nice juice. If you know want so much, you take out some. Look at me here. A lot of people always ask, Debbie, when you cook, like people, you know, who we talk one on one differently off YouTube, what do you do with all those food? You throw them away? Do you throw them out? Do you give them to. Hi, hello. Throw them away. I just make this. Look at me here. I've gone ahead and I had prepared for you some. Camille dumpling should have do, done some bananas too, but the time was against me. So this is what I look at me here. Look at this juice and this sauce. So I've gone ahead and I've prepared for you some cornmeal dumplings. I'm gonna make sure that so the dumpling you should use a slotted spoon. But if you don't have no slotted spoon, it's at the old time, long time you rest this dumpling at the spoon, lean it against the pot. Who know this? Comment. Yeah, man, old school thing. Right here in this sauce. So I don't know how much dumpling you know want, you know. But me feel like me done am about three. Comment and tell me how much dumpling you that eat with this. And I've also gone ahead and I've gone and I have had some Trilani. Good old Trilani, yellow yam. If you're watching me and you're from Trilani and you know about the Trilani yellow yam, please to come in. Look at me here now. Look at me here. This is a beauty. This is a beautiful um, butterfish platter. Yeah, all Jamaican. Big up on yourself. Look at me here. I'm going to be presenting right here and right now. I'm going to be presenting this to you. Bozoom, come. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, and most of all to your stomach, it is this stewed butterfish in coconut sauce. Please do enjoy. Now, if you have liked this video, all I ask of you, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for letting us reach 100,000 subs and counting. Thank you so very much. Look here, we are heading for a mill, but before we reach the mill, we got to get to 500,000. And before we get to 500, we have got to get to two. Help me to reach 200,000 by Christmas. That would be a beautiful Christmas present for me. When I ask for a donation, when I ask for nothing, I'm just asking you and thank you. I got this for my birthday, the 100,000 subs. So thank you so much for your love. Remember to make sure you're subscribed. When you do subscribe, hit the notification bell. And can I tell you something? We have got a mukbang channel right here going on right now. So we do cooking. Why, what better thing to do? People are asking, where you do the food? So you know what happened? Hop on right now to me with formerly Kim and Jer, being Kim and Jer, to the new Jamaican mukbang. That's the name of the channel, the Jamaican mukbang. I me I'm not going to meet up over this. I'm going to rub this. Debbie from Dunga Yard, bless. No stress.